Just last month, Rhode Island native Peter Manfredo won the NABF middleweight title down at Mohegan Sun, and he joins us here in the studio today to discuss that and show me a few tips in the ring. Thanks for being here, buddy. Hey, thank you for having me. All right, Pete, you grew up in a boxing family. Tell me what, what that was like. It was tough. You know, as soon as I came out of my mother, I had boxing gloves on, and, uh, you know, it's something that my father had really wanted me to do when I was growing up, and, uh, you know, I, I took to it. You know, I got, in, I got in the ring at a young age. I had my first fight at seven years old. And uh, it was interesting, you know, but it was fun at the same time. But I, I heard right after school you used to head right over to the gym. Yeah, right after, the, right after school. Uh, no after school uh, recess and not with the, with the friends hanging out on the street or nothing. I was right in the gym. You know, it was all serious and, you know, it made me the man I am today. Now, you stayed out of trouble doing stuff like that. You've also given giving a lot back to the community. You do a lot of work up on Federal Hill. Why don't you yep. tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, for two years, I was a lifeguard at Zuccolo Pool. And, um, you know, even though that I made it on the contender and all that other stuff and I made uh, money and fame, I wanted to show the kids that, you know, it's still not bad to give back. You know, you can't forget where you come from. You know, you have to give back. Stay in school is very important. You always need something to do after you know the sport I needed something to do after boxing so I wanted to show the kids that you know I'm still humble and I'm still the same person that I came from so um, you know I donate my time there and you know help the kids out. Big fight last time you, you won the NABF uh, title yep. against your heavily tattooed opponent what was that like especially uh, being so close to home right you get a lot of Rhode Islanders support down there? Yeah I got a lot of support it was nice you know I haven't fought home in over a year you know and to, to be back in the mix at middleweight um, you know, to fight for another title again and get in the top ten in the world, you know, it was a big opportunity for me. And, you know, I fought the heavily tattooed Matt Vander, and he actually got all his tattoos. Every time he wins a fight, he gets a tattoo. So he had so no tattoos after you, after yeah. you got the best of them. So I tattooed him this time. <laughs> right, right, my man. <laughs> but uh, we couldn't make sure he, he couldn't get any more because he had enough. And uh, we got to win. We got back in the top ten in the world, and hopefully we got uh, bigger fights in the future. Any word yet on what, what's going to be your next battle? Uh, I know it takes a while to get all the Yeah, you know, they're, talking, they're talking about either April or May for Maybe a, maybe a world title, who knows, possible, but uh, we just want to stay busy, keep winning, and hopefully uh, acquire that dream of being a world champion and bring something back to Providence. All right, in prep for a world title, you're going to show a guy that's wearing makeup right now a couple of tips here. So. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. Always good. I'm wearing makeup. I'm fighting Peter Manfredo. What do you okay. got for me? What do we got? All right, show me the left. Show you left? All right, show me the right. All right, left, it? right. Both oh, do, le left, right? Together. Beautiful. Is that, is that any Again. good? Would you be right. frightened of me seriously if we got in the ring together? Uh, to be serious, no. No. Not bad for a guy who wears makeup, if though. You, I gotta if say. You, if you did hit me with a punch, would you kill me? I probably want to kill you, but I hurt you a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for being there, man. Good stuff. Guys, for Peter's bio and his fighting resume, head over to the website right now, foxprovidence.com.